so hot. It's hot. But hopefully, that was good. Stop recording. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sam from Rococo, and today we're gonna to be talking about how I made this little animation using my phone's hotspot as my Wi-Fi source for my Rococo motion capture gear. So I'm out here visiting my parents. I don't have my Wi-Fi router. I don't have some of the stuff that I would normally use to be making Rococo animations, but Rococo works great off of just a phone hotspot. So I'm just gonna walk you through quickly how I set everything up. It's actually super simple. There's nothing too complicated about it. But more than anything, this is just kind of a proof of concept that you can take your Rococo gear out into the wild, you know, no matter where you are, go into the forest, as long as you have a phone to provide that local Wi-Fi network for a computer and your Rococo mocap to connect to, you can get that super blazing fast motion capture, no problem. You don't need anything fancy. We all carry around these phones in our pockets. So let's just jump right into the workflow. So for this video, I'm using an iPhone 15 Pro, but I've also used personal hotspots on Samsung devices, older iPhones, really any modern-ish, you know, from the last 10, seven years, uh, phone technology, hotspot technology is gonna be fine to use with your Rococo system. But in this one, I'm using an iPhone 15. To set everything up, I just turned on my Wi-Fi hotspot. And then I did have to, of course, plug in my suit to my computer and configure the Wi-Fi to use that hotspot. The only thing that I'll say about this process is that setting up the Wi-Fi doesn't love apostrophes. When I set up my personal hotspot using my iPhone, it was set up as Sam apostrophe S, Sam's iPhone. And Rococo Studio didn't love that apostrophe. It had trouble connecting to the hotspot because of the apostrophe. So I just went into my phone settings and I took out that apostrophe and it was just Sam's iPhone with no apostrophe. And at that point, it was super easy to follow the normal process of setting up my SmartSuit Pro 2 to accept Wi-Fi from my personal hotspot on my phone. When that was done, it was time to record. So cut to Sam outside. Oh. Touch grass. I don't know if it's for me. I've got my trusty battle axe here. And, you know, again, because we're outside, uh, I'm just gonna try and record something that kind of takes up the space. And this is a lot more room than I have in my office, obviously. And so maybe like a battle scene, Thor with his lightning hammer, sending people flying, something like that. Um, and something, you know, hopefully that doesn't make me too sweaty. Although I think that ship has sailed. Okay, let's do it. So because I was outside, I threw on some sneakers, but you can just throw the foot sensors on over the sneakers and it will all work the same as if you weren't wearing shoes. Of course, when I went to go hit record, the camera fell over and there I am freaking out because the timer is running on my recording. However, I had plenty of time. I backed up a little bit to give myself a little bit of a running head start and I tried to use as much of the space as I could. There I do my little jump in, that's gonna be a superhero landing. And then I'm just kind of running around, sweeping away enemies. You know, in theory, there'd be lightning bolts added to all this afterwards. Throw my little hammer, catch it, and then superhero jump out of there. And try not to get too hot in the process. Oh, it's so hot, it's hot. After my recording was done, I did my typical process where I just went in, did a little bit of editing on the foot contacts to make sure the mocap was recorded correctly. And then after that, I jumped into the new Rococo Studio Preview to apply some smoothing. So I pretty much use Rococo Studio Preview on every single mocap take I make now. If I need to create a loop, I use the looping functionality, but I'm not always making loops. I am always smoothing my clips. I find that adding a little bit of smoothing, in this case, I think I set it to 6.5, always helps make my mocap look a little bit better, a little bit more buttery, a little bit more pro. So I really recommend checking out the new Rococo Studio Preview, which gives you access to smoothing and looping. We did a whole video showing off how this works. Go check that out if you wanna know more. When that was done, I just exported my mocap out of Rococo Studio Preview, and I brought it into Unreal Engine. I imported my Rococo motion capture. And when you're in Unreal Engine, always remember, when you're importing that mocap, that FBX animation, 
go and in the dropdown, check FBX animation, and that will import the mocap correctly using the right dialog box. So I got my mocap into Unreal Engine, checked it out, everything looked good. From that point, it was really easy to just right click on my motion capture, go to retarget animation, select my character and export out that animation onto my character. From there, I built a very basic kind of pre visy type scene. And because my character was doing that superhero landing and takeoff, I just did a few transformation keyframes to have my character land into the scene and then take off at the end of the scene. Did a little magic with my ax to make sure that the ax could fly out of the hand and come back to the hand and everything. But it was the typical workflow for getting everything working in Unreal Engine. We have extensive tutorials about the Unreal Engine workflow for motion capture on our channel. We'll have more coming out soon when Unreal Engine 5.7 drops, but you can go check those out if you want to dive into how retargeting works in depth and also how to do live streaming into Unreal Engine. When everything was done, you know, here was the final result. And I thought this came out great. You know, of course I could spend more time making this into a full scene and doing a crowd that they're slamming away. I didn't really have time to do all that. Mostly I just wanted to use this time as a proof of concept again to show that you can absolutely use an, a phone's Wi-Fi hotspot to power the Wi-Fi connection between your motion capture system and your computer, no matter where you are. Remember, although Rococo Studio needs to use the internet to log in, after you're logged into Rococo Studio, you don't need an active internet connection. And that means that even if you're in the middle of the forest and you don't have service with your phone, you can still create a local Wi-Fi network. The Wi-Fi network doesn't actually need the internet. It's still creating the network for your computer to connect to. So this workflow works literally anywhere in the world, right? Anywhere you could be in the middle of the forest, you could be in the middle of the desert. This is all gonna work as long as you have your phone, your personal hotspot from your phone. You know, you got a battery for your mocap suit, your computer, and that's all you need. Hope this video was helpful. I thought this was super fun. And honestly, because I know where my phone is and I can kind of always position it so I have a very strong Wi-Fi network, this is a legitimate workflow for even when you're at home. You know, if you have a Wi-Fi network that you share with other people, maybe the router isn't in your room where you're recording motion capture, whip out your phone, use a hotspot. After you set it up with your suit, it's really easy to connect to and everything works super fast, lightning fast, just as fast as it would with a regular Wi-Fi router. So this is a great workflow, especially if you're on the road. Hopefully this video was helpful and stay tuned for more stuff from us coming soon, especially some community call out videos where we're highlighting some awesome Rococo creators. Okay. Thanks everyone. See you in the next one.